G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and today we're going to be drawing a very iconic Halloween themed character, namely Count Dracula. So getting started, the first thing that we do is begin with the construction lines and when I draw a human face, I begin with a circle for the round of the skull and then add the draw. And then I add a direction line and an eye line. So with our very basic sort of construction set up and after adding the neck and a shoulder line, we're going to go in and add some of the details. So the first thing I generally do in the face are either the eyes or the nose. Now because the eyes are such an iconic feature of this character, uh, I think because he's a noble and you kind of want to get that sneery sort of look. So the way I do that is to have a high eyebrow or both eyebrows quite high and have a, a lower eye, uh, the upper eyelid quite low. With the nose I tend to uh, make it quite pointed, so a bit of a narrow sort of nose and all the features of the face are going to sink in and be a uh, quite suction -y. So you can see the construction at the moment is quite broad and solid, but it won't end up being like that. So uh, as you can see, I'm adding the cheekbones and really bringing the uh, skull shape into view of this character and then adding lines where those uh, protrusions of the skull aren't, you know, prevalent. So for example, around the outside of the mouth, under the cheeks, under the eyes, uh, but otherwise the cheekbone and the, the jaw and the chin should pop out a bit because they're a bit bony and that'll make him look a bit old and also a bit sunken. The, the hairline it traditionally is quite high on Dracula and a bit pointed uh, and having that sort of wavy hair, uh, I don't know, it's just, you're kind of working with a few cliches when drawing a character like this so there are certain things that you want to try and include. Uh, I've turned the mouth into a bit more of a sneer than a smile because I didn't think the smile suited very well. Anyways, as I was saying, the eyes, um, tend to have the upper eyelid a bit lower even though the eyelid is raised and that gives a bit of a bit of a demeaning sort of look is you know looking down and sneering at you uh, and now that we've got the overall construction of the face ready we're adding some more details like the lines and uh, and then we're going to work on bits of like the clothes so we have the um, the what do you call it collar <laughs> and the I think it's a cummerbund or whatever you call it anyways he is a count he's count Dracula and so you want to make sure he does look somewhat like a noble so uh, you know having a bit of a refined look then adding the dark touches later so when approaching this character I didn't uh, approach the dark evil side uh, mentally I approach the count side mentally so having a bit of a regal looking expression and a regal sort of stance and character and then later and I'll show you with some finishing touches that you can add uh, to really add a bit of darkness so going into the line work it's all pretty straightforward from here basically the same sort of line work setup that I usually do focusing less is more thin line works in general in this piece because um the silhouette isn't necessarily the focus, the, uh, the lines don't necessarily have to have a huge amount of weight variation, it's much more about uh, a thin, crisp, fine sort of look. So going around and basically drawing edges around the construction lines that I've done. Uh, leaving some areas blank like the tops of the cheekbones and the front of the chin because these are usually a bit smoother because they're resting on the bones but the lines themselves for the uh, the skin that's withered and dried usually goes in this area under uh, the cheekbone and up here on the uh, brow and then under the eyes oh, and of course between the nose and the edge of the mouth so they're different areas I have a tutorial on drawing old people that you might want to check out that goes into more detail um, for the skin color I'm going with a bit of a pale sort of desaturated look because it gives that you know that vampiric feel to it um, and kind of drawing in the shadows first and then I'm going to be filling in the highlights now I'm leaving the eyes for now because I'm going to come back to that and make it make them a bit darker and a bit more you know a bit more uh, doomy gloomy and then going through doing the hair now I don't know how often people do this when they do Dracula sort of characters but I'm having that sort of gray strip along the side it's a bit of a refining look it adds a bit of a bit of an old uh, age to the character as well um, some crimson eyes going through and just doing some cream for the cummerbund and then black for the collar. Now when we've done all the basic colors I'm going to make a layer on top and I'm going to put in a few extra good bits. So the first thing I'm going to do is outline around the edges starting from under the eyebrow and then all around the bottom uh, around the eye and then leaving the eye bit blank so keeping that separate 
and then just filling it in random color doesn't necessarily matter because what we're going to do next is fill it in with a gradient and we're going to turn that gradient into the middle being a very 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 dark brown but about 80 percent transparency and then the very edge the same brown but zero percent transparency and that creates that sort of uh gradient from the dark to the light and then if we put that and place it with the um gradient transform tool behind the eye itself it creates this dark sort of aura around the eyes and then finally the last thing i want to do is add some blood because count dracula of course drinks people's blood so i have two tones of blood i'm going to use i have a darker red with a bit of transparency tone that i'm using on the edges of the teeth and just a little bit dribbling down his chin uh, you don't want to be over the top um, with this because if you do it too much with a refined character it takes away the refinement makes him look a bit beastly and um you know like he dribbles all over his chin so uh, the next thing i'm doing is adding a much broader area of blood but i'm making it a lot lighter uh, just so you can see that he's really sunk his teeth into his victim and then adding the finishing touches and just covering the teeth a little bit and that basically wraps up uh, the Dracula so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a couple of things make sure to leave any suggestions in the comment section below for any future let's draw videos that you might be interested in or certain techniques you might want me to cover otherwise that's it for this week's ladies and gentlemen and I hope you enjoyed yourself until next time I will see you later